Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain how to integrate Keyclock with an email server. There are multiple advantages of integrating an email server with Keyclock. You can have advantages like user email address verification, forgotten password reset and also get notified about admin events via emails. So these kind of advantages can be gained by integrating an email server with Keyclock Identity and Access Management System. In order to do this demonstration, I'm using uh, Keyclock server. 24.0.5 version and currently this application is running on my local machine on the default url localhost 8080 in order to connect the email server i need to visit the realm settings section which is here in the realm settings you can see this email tab in the email tab actually there are two sections as template and connection and authentication section template section is pretty obvious there's only one mandatory field and rest of the fields are optional as the from field you have to put a value uh, here i have put admin and hexadefense.com so which will be the from address of the emails you are sending from this server and rest of the fields are like display name reply to reply to display name envelope those things are optional if you're interested you can add those optional fields as well so that's all with this template section and uh, next we are moving to the connection and authentication section this section is a bit tricky especially developers are confused with this port section i will explain it soon the host field is for the host name of your email server here i have added the aws simple email service host name as the host name and uh, when it comes to the port here i have set 587 this is the recommended port by many email services now earlier port 25 was used as the default one now that port is deprecated by many email services and port 587 is the recommended one in addition to this port there are some other ports as well including port 465 port 465 is especially dedicated for implicitly ssl enabled communications if you are going to use port 465 you have to check this enable ssl checkbox as well otherwise that connection will not work uh, this is the uh, configuration if you are using implicitly secure connection but the recommended one is as i mentioned earlier which is 587 and you don't need to check this enable ssl checkbox instead you can enable start tls checkbox i will briefly explain what is enable start tls as well uh, normally email service supports two protocols like smtp and smtps protocol so which is uh, similar to https and https protocols smtps protocol is the secure version of the smtp protocol uh, so by checking this enable start tls checkbox what happens is uh, if your email service provider supports smtps protocol that particular protocol will be used otherwise smtp protocol will, will be used so that's what happened if by checking this enable start tls checkbox and other thing is uh, this authentication switch most of the email providers nowadays provide credentials to access email server so if you have already uh, received a username and password or an access key and a secret key you can put those things in this section uh, once everything is done you can test your connection before saving that uh, by the way this information are not actual data I will show you how to send a test email with actual data. Okay, now you can see here I have put my actual data here. Now I'm going to test my connection by clicking test connection button. Okay, you can see here the banner. It is successful. A test email was successfully sent to my email account. I think that's all you want to know in order to integrate an email server with your Keyclock server. Especially you need to be careful about this port section which is very confusing for new users who have not integra integrated an email server with any of application. So that's it. If you have any question, please put them as a comment. Thank you very much.